Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will take a look on the deep review for the Oxygen OS Open Beta 7. So, I already have shown you the first impression, the installation kind of changes. So, I'll put the first video in the description. You go ahead and check that out. So, as you can see, this is Open Beta 7 and it's almost three days I've used as. And the good thing is that it has a November security patch level. And before we go ahead, guys, uh, I will request you guys again to understand what is more uh, exactly in detail what is beta 7 so download the one plus three official application from the play store it's easily available as you can see one plus community i will put this application link to just go there and try to search here beta 7 you'll get many of the lot of uh, comments and discussions going on so that will give you a better idea what everybody is facing i will share my experiences in terms of battery performance and similarly you will get a lot of other feedbacks on other, other users so and also you might get a lot of solutions how to what kind of things are there so i will be talking about especially the battery the performance and especially guys from this video onwards i will be covering mostly the questions here on my deep, deep review video as you can see i've just listed out most of the questions that people have asked me in the comment section so these are the most common questions so i may be skipping one or two but most of the common questions that should be important i have covered that so we'll talk about that so first starting with the battery so i am getting an average of near four hours exactly so i have already charged this phone three times and even after that i have to reset because uh, you know for the pokemon update i used to post for each update so i need to check for the matches manager still i got four hours of screen on time so as you can see so we are at 66 percentage still uh, consumed me somewhere near to 1 hour 42 minutes so uh, it's pretty average not great compared to the official that you will get the 3.2.7 because a few days back i used that build for two to three days and i almost got near to five hours of screen on time but when i installed that build so since this is beta it is bit improved compared to community build 3.5.5 because we are almost nearing to the final release and uh, as soon as you will start the nougat community build so this build is the new one but uh, if you are okay with four hours screen on time definitely there is no should be no problem and you have the dash charger you can easily top up in very soon now performance already have shown you in the previous video compared to the uh, oxygen 3.2.7 there's a lot of improvement in terms of geek and the end to benchmark so here are the test results so you can check that out so on my personal opinion whether you should be using that build or not so i did not found any crashes everything is working fine few people have mentioned some instagram related bugs so that was not there and everything is working pretty much smooth camera is also especially same a lot of people have inquired is there any change in the camera so camera is completely same there is no difference at all everything is you can see it's fine you have the 60 fps here 4k so everything is same so there's no new feature in terms of camera now we'll start with some of the common questions so the first question we have how to remove this so guys if you are in any build if you have rooted your phone if you have twerp stall just uh, before that just take an android backup it's pretty simple already there is one video i have shown you i'll put that video to take a backup go to the recovery mode and again flash the zip file and make sure to check like uh, twerp version which is supported so generally uh, 3.2.0 hyphen 19 is working anywhere else and 20 also so i am using 3.2.0-19 uh, so it is working for me next question is when is nougat coming so hopefully you should come by uh, next month december in and uh, again question related to that when is 3t is coming so there's only tweet by the official one plus it is coming very soon and i'm expecting in this month november in because already in the us uk it is launched coming here uh, exposed is working here or not so guys sorry for that i am not able to install export it's not like that it's not working because uh, as you can see my root storage is almost full and uh, i have zero bytes free i am trying to make some spaces here maybe i'll post a new video if i get some solution but i was trying to search this uh, on the forum there is no such mention and issues for expose and i do have few comments like uh, which kind of expose version they are trying so the one i will be trying here i have you can see I will try especially this 87 version and this uh, 23 SDK API level so both should work pretty much fine even more question we got whether SRGB is removed or not no SRGB is not removed it's still there you can get that screen calibration you have the SRGB mode is still available and few questions like as I mentioned Instagram is crashing or not so for me Instagram is not crashing camera is we had talked especially same there is no change in the DPI level there are few questions too 
Next question, will it void the warranty if you flash the open beta? No, OnePlus 3 device is still in the warranty if you install any kind of pills. And will it be stable enough for daily use? Yes, you can pretty much go that. If you are okay with four hours or, or average screen on time, there should not be any problem. And last question, they are able to flash stock recovery. So I have shown you guys a few days back an application called Flashify. So make sure to use that. You don't need to use any computer, any ADB tool. You need to just install the app, download the official OnePlus 3 stock recovery app, link in the description. Just open that and watch that video for more details. So that's it guys pretty much for this video. And I guess there should be one or two more beta builds. And because uh, prior to GA, that is general availability, there is almost a six to seven betas are there already we are in the beta 7 so i guess looking on the stability of the build is completely stable there is not any crash at all so we should have only one or at max two and then it should be finally available so let me know in the comments you still have any concern and queries what kind of issues and things you are getting on your oneplus 3 devices this is sort of guys thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next video have a great day